In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Minecraft Education Edition without a school account. Now, in order to do this, we need to go ahead and get a Minecraft Education License. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment, and it is going to take you to a page that does look like this. And basically, it is going to walk you through the entire process and all the information that you need in order to purchase Minecraft Education for yourself. All right, so once you're here, you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see Purchase Commercial Licenses. Go ahead and press on that. Then you should see this option over here that says view our helpful guide below or purchase Minecraft commercial licenses right over here. You want to go ahead and press on this option, but please do not forget that there is additional information that will also walk you through the process as well. So if you want to go ahead and see like a written tutorial, then you guys can get it through this article. But let's just go ahead and press on purchase Minecraft commercial licenses right over here. So then it is going to go ahead and then open up a page that does look like this. All right. And then eventually it is going to bring us to a page that does look like this. And the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and solve this puzzle just to make sure that we're not a robot or anything like that. So let's go ahead and do this puzzle really quickly. It really shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, there you go. Verification is now complete. So the first thing we need to do is we need to enter in the email account that is going to be associated with our Minecraft education. So you don't need to use a school email or a college email or a work email or anything like that. You can go ahead and just use your regular email address. So I'm just going to put in mine really quickly. Okay, once you put in your email, then you want to go ahead and just press on it next. Then you want to go ahead and press on set up account. All right, so then you need to enter in your full name, your last name, your business phone number, your company name, and your company size. Now, where it says company name, you could just make one up, guys. So I recommend just uh, putting in like your school, for example. And for company size, you can go ahead and just select on one person because it is just you. And where it says, does your company have a website, just go ahead and press on no. So I know it may be a little bit confusing, but do not worry. You do not need to put in like an official company name or anything like that. But you do need to put in your first and last name along with your phone number as well. And also, your country and region so i'll be right back with you guys once i went ahead and filled in all this information all right once you're done with that all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on next all right now here's the most important part so it is going to give you your username that you need to sign in each time you are trying to play Minecraft education Disney. so it is going to give you your username out of here and your domain name so for me it is frybright.org on me microsoft.com so let's just go ahead and press on save and guys make sure to write it down on a piece of paper and make sure that you do have it in a safe place both your username and your domain name because those are incredibly important and we're going to be using those frequently now you need to go ahead and enter in a password so let's just go ahead and put that in and same thing with your password make sure you memorize it write it down on a piece of paper and keep that piece of paper in a safe location or just save it to your device notes but just please make sure that you do remember both your password and your username and domain name Okay, now it is going to begin creating your account. Okay, and then after that, it is going to go ahead and bring you to a page that looks like this. Quantity and payment. So over here, we have Minecraft education for a commercial. Okay, so Minecraft commercial, you will actually need to pay in order to actually play it, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it is $12 a year. And over here, you can go ahead and select on the quantity. So we need a license in order to play. So it's one license per person. So if it's just education edition for yourself, then all you need to do is select on one. And then go ahead and press on add payment method really quickly. So yeah, then you need to put in all your card information right over here and basically just fill in all this information. All right. So after that, you want to just confirm everything really quickly, then press on this box and then you want to go ahead and press on place order. All right. And then after you're done with that, it is then going to say, thanks. Your order is confirmed. It is going to tell you your order number and it is also going to send you a confirmation email to whatever email you did use. So from here, let's just go ahead and press on next. So now we need to go ahead and actually make this account secure. So let's just go ahead and press press on it next really quickly and we need to do this in order to actually start applying the licenses so not only do we need to purchase the license but we also need to apply it so let's go ahead and do that really quickly after this uh process so let's just go ahead and press on it next all right and then once you went ahead and confirm your account and set up the authentication you want to go ahead and press on start using minecraft education for a commercial then it is going to direct you to a page that does look like this. You will need to go ahead and sign into the account that you just created. So this is the account we just created. So we need to go ahead and sign in really quickly. All right, guys, then it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this. And all you want to do is you want to locate your name right over here. So yep, here's our name. And then it will say license Minecraft education for commercial. But you just want to go ahead and press on these three dots that says more actions. Then go ahead and select on manage product licenses really quickly. And you just want to double check that the uh, Minecraft education for commercial is actually selected. Yep. So here it is. So yeah, let's just go ahead and press on select all. Then let's go ahead and press on save changes. And over here, we can go ahead and take a look at our account. 
All right, so now what we need to do from here is we need to go ahead and press on products. And then from here, you want to double check that Minecraft education for commercial is actually set to active. And from here, you can go ahead and press on install Minecraft education edition. And then whenever you try to sign in, all you need to do is use the username that we did create right now. And we also need to go ahead and use the password that we did use in order to create our Microsoft 365 admin center account. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.